I think anybody who touches a child is a sick person. And the people that you least expect it to do it are usually, are usually the ones who do. You can never tell what they look like. I told Kayla that it hurt me to be kept away from my kids and that I couldn't believe that she would think that about me. And this weekend, she's finally come and let me have my kids. And I've spent the last five days with them. We've had a wonderful time. They were happy. They deserve to have me in their lives. They deserve to have their mother in their lives. I would never hurt my children. Recently over the summer, me and Kayla split up and uh, that's when all the accusations about the things with me and my son came up. This all started when my son and another child were caught touching each other. His grandmother says that he told her that he learned it from me and that I did it. Marsha is saying that I performed oral sex on my son and that he told her that's how he learned it. He was sleeping and he woke up with his dad touched his uh, privates. When my grandson told me this, it was instantly, it was just disgusted, but I felt so sorry for him because he still loves his dad. I found out while I was in jail, DHS came to see me to question me about it. When DHS came and told me this, I felt very angry that their grandmother would make accusations like that. We've never had a good relationship since we've known each other, and I think she's just doing it to, to try to hurt me. When I told Kayla what um, he had told me, she was just sickened and we went through DCF and they did an interview with my grandson and he wouldn't disclose any information. He said it was a secret, he didn't want to answer any more questions and so that they closed the case. I am a great father to my children. I've been there for them. When I've been out of jail and out of prison, I've supported them, I've taken care of them. I love my children, we have a great time together. After I got out of jail, Kayla had a hard time letting me see my children with these accusations being made. I was very hurt that she could ever believe that I would do something like that. And then she ended up, for some reason, let him have him for the last weekend. It just makes me scared because even if she doesn't think that he may have done it, he still could have. And I just think that we need to protect the children first and then see what happens. I do believe that my son could have been touched is, is why he learned these things, but it wasn't by me. Really, Marsha is coming between me and my children. She is manipulating this whole situation, and it really hurts me that she would do that involving her grandchildren. Tell me things that maybe I've coached my grandson into saying that he did this, but I would not ever do that to Tony. If Tony fails this lie detector test, I will go to the extreme to make sure that he's prosecuted and put away for it. So do you believe that your ex molested your son? No, my heart and my gut tells me he, that he didn't. Um, I've always went with my gut. I just don't believe that. Tony has a lot of things, but I don't believe something like that ever occurred. But I obviously learned it from somewhere, so. Tell me what happened. Um, I put myself in a treatment facility, um, and a treatment facility that you can have your children at. I went to go check on the kids one day, and they were doing stuff that they shouldn't have been doing. You saw your son? And two other kids um, doing uh, oral stuff to each other, so my first reaction was I just grabbed. You saw them acting in a sexual, inappropriate yes, manner? Yes, sir. And, and what did you do? Um, my first reaction was I just grabbed, grabbed my son and, you know, I brought him to my bedroom and, I, you know, I, I freaked out and I was just like, why, you know, would you, where did you learn this, you know? He was scared to tell me anything because of the way I reacted. So he just wouldn't tell me anything. So there He was never a, told you anything? He wouldn't tell me anything. He just, was this the first time you saw, saw your son act in that way? Yes. Okay. So he wouldn't say where he learned this? Anything happened to no. him? Nothing. No. Um, after you witnessed this, what did you do? Um, I immediately told the coordinator at the treatment facility what had happened. I told the other mothers what had happened. Um, and did they investigate this? The, um, the therapist there, my mental health therapist, asked to speak to my son, so I allowed it. And then the next day, I had CPS come up there and you know, talk to me and talk to my son. And then we went to the Children's Advocate Center where I spoke to detectives and um, they questioned my son. My son had snuck out of the room, said that he didn't want no more questions. He was done with questions. He just said it was a secret. You recently let Tony have your kids for five days. I did. You did? Mm -hmm. Why would you do that if you think that it's possible that Tony might? Uh... I, I don't believe it's possible. 
I really don't, but but I know I need to do something into finding out if it is true. I, I don't know, I guess part of me wants to, I, part of me let, me let my kids go, because I guess maybe I am, maybe part of me is protecting Tony. But if your son is so verbal in telling your mother, and you never really confront them, and there's no, investigations are going nowhere, would you really roll the dice with your kids? I should know, but I did, I guess. Kayla, you know that's not who I am. You know I wouldn't do this to our children. I love our children. I may not be the greatest spouse. I may not be the greatest person ever. I know but I've not. always I'm been there for my kids, and I would not do this to I our child. I don't believe that you did, but I have to find out. I well, have when to this find test, out. When this test results come back and it shows that I didn't do it, I expect an apology from you. Okay, and I will. But if you did, then you are going to jail. I, and I, I deserve to go to jail if I did it. Anybody that does such a thing deserves to go to jail. Okay. But I have not done this to our child. And I told you I don't believe it's true. Are you concerned at all that your son is very descriptive about what his father did to him. I, I'm not guilty of it. I'm not. I'm I not mean, asking yes, you I'm that. concerned. I'm, I'm concerned you. because right. obviously something's happened that, okay. that put this in his head. But it, have you ever it talked was not to your me. son after you I have found tried out? to talk to my son. He I, will not talk to me about it. He doesn't say anything. He, he doesn't, doesn't want talk to, to me. He about doesn't it. want to talk about it. Okay. Did you molest your son? No, sir. Okay. Why would uh, you think that I would do that, Tony? Because that's the type. Personal really? Can, yeah. After all the stuff I've done for you, that's the kind of person after all I am. You've done for me. How do you think I felt when he told me that? You think I wanted to believe that you did that to him? Believe that he did it? I believe that a four-year-old doesn't lie. I don't think that, I don't think a four-year-old knows anything to know anything to say anything. Well, and the fact that your daughter saw him <laughs> uh, perform this act, I would think that uh, at the very least somebody molested him. Something happened yes. to him. Yes. Absolutely. And I believe it. Something yeah. to happen to him. So. And we asked you. Are you fabricating the story that your grandson told you what his father did to him sexually? You answered no. Did you coach your grandson to say that his father did those sexual things to him? You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Marsha told the truth. <laughs> Tony took a lie to tuck the test. Uh, Tony came here and we attempted to give him a lie detector test. The subject tested positive for methamphetamine and for marijuana. Accordingly, the subject was not testable. Hmm. Uh, so I have to ask you, Tony, when did you know you were coming on the show? I didn't know until Sunday afternoon. Sunday. And Sunday afternoon or Monday, did you smoke marijuana? Yes, did Sunday. You did you do meth? Uh, I hadn't done any meth in a couple days. And why prior. did you smoke marijuana, knowing that you were coming on the I show? I didn't. It was before I knew that I was coming. Before you were coming. All right. And a third one that's not mine that I'm raising that I signed the birth certificate. I was there when she was born. And I've had her. Is there any six, other dirt that you want to tell us? Six out of the nine months. Yes. Is there anything yeah. else you'd like to tell us about? Well, they her? portrayed me trying to make me look bad. I mean. No. Nobody trying to make you look bad. That's no. what I, told us. You know what? I think <laughs> nobody's standing on stage. Looks great, okay? Right, right. Because, kind of and I'll, I'll take your word for it, your mother's a drug addict, you're a drug addict, I you're a drug, drug addict. addict. I am. Right. Why do you think I put myself in treatment? Uh, obviously. But we're not here for that, no. and I'm not going to pass judgment on everybody up here being a drug addict. But what, what does happen is that when there's children involved with drug addicts, which everybody on stage is, nobody really can have that child's best interest at heart. So my thing is, somewhere along the line, this child was sexually abused. Yeah. And now we don't know. Yeah, I know. And you know why we don't know? Because I was a Is that what you want to say? I'm not going to say you're Because I'm a drug addict. I'm not, well. I mean, what, I mean. Yeah, because you're a drug addict. No, it's not why it happened. I mean, oh, seriously, really? Seriously, really. Really? Oh, yeah, really, because I mean, I put okay, myself in treatment. You, okay, okay. You know You said I was wrong. Well, because it's not the drug, it's somebody else. Well, what else. is it? What is it? Well, what is it? It's what some is sicko, it? that's what it is. Yeah, some sicko. Yeah. But so something that's... happened to your grandson. Absolutely. Okay, and your daughter storms off stage and she's pissed off. Why? Because I want to call into the fact that not everybody, and, and listen, even this guy says, I I'm not making parent. the best decisions. 
I know for I my child. As a and yeah, it must suck to be called on spotlight that your child is being abused because you have not made the right decisions. Now, could it have happened if she would have stayed sober her whole life? Maybe. But what do you think the odds are when you're a drug addict and getting high and losing control and you have no control or discipline over your own self that somebody could abuse your child? Tell me that. Any answer? I mean, well, I then know. join your daughter and get <laughs> off my stage. <laughs> and I would hope, Tony, when you leave the stage, and we have people here that can help you, point you in the right direction, get you help, okay? All right. What, what we would hope, and everybody, I'm sure, in this audience, or watching at home, hopes that you go home and say, I'm gonna be the best that I can, I'm gonna find out who did this to my kid. I'm gonna bring them to justice. You need to be a strong man. You need to clean yourself up and protect your son. Good luck to you. I feel good now that I've been uh, proven innocent. I mean, I feel hurt that this has possibly happened to my son. When I get home, I'm gonna do everything I can to be a better father do what I need to do to figure out what happened to him, when it happened, and who it was done by. And Kayla, I would just like to apologize to Marsha for accusing her of uh, making these accusations and uh, manipulating my son into saying them. I'm hurt that I uh, did this to her or believed that she manipulated my son into saying these things. Hey, Steve, and I'm going to take your advice, and uh, I'm going to step up and be the dad that I know I can be and that I need to be for my children, and I appreciate you. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilcos.com to get my help.